Yo, yo, it's your boy ASB. We in the building for uh, an episode of Real, to- Real Talk True Stories podcast, yeah? So Real Talk True Stories. Today, we in the Shoreditch Inn, London, East London, on some microphones I just fucking bought. So if the quality's bad, put up with it or fuck off, yeah? <laughs> right? I'm here with none other than Queensbridge legend, infamous mob, big twins, twins. Ta-da! Popping my G, cuz we know. in this man. Queens we in this finest. Fam, it's a real honor for me, man. I have to keep it 100, man. I'm never sugarcoated anything, man. Good looking, yo. I'm a fan before anything, bro, man. Like I made I made notes for this interview within two minutes because I already knew. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I already yeah. knew, fam, man. I want to start off with like um, infamous, man. Infamous mob. Yeah. Um, talk us through it and the members, man. How did it come about? Well. Um, me, we lit by the way. We lit, yeah, we lit. Yeah, we lit. We little <laughs> drunk right now. So, me, Ty Nitty, and Godfather, mm. you know what I'm saying? We all grew up from the same block, 12th Street, 41st side, you know what I'm saying? 41st side. And, you know, basically, the infamous mall group basically started, basically, the infamous mall basically started from, um, you know, Prodigy singing it in the song. Oh, what? Yeah, he said it in the song one time, like, yo. My infamous mob would get on the job. Oh, and we shit. like, who the fuck is infamous mob? We like, y'all. Us. And that's kind of how it all started. Oh. You know what I'm saying? So basically, Prodigy shouted it in a track and then you made it. Beca- yeah. Made we, it off we, the back we, of that. He was already the, the goons. Booth. When he come yeah. out the booth, we like, who infamous mob? We like, what are you talking about, y'all? Yo. And that's how it all started. So, you know what I'm saying? So basically, Prodigy is a legend just off of that comment. Off the comment, son. Yo, off the fam. comment. You know, I, was try- I was trying to work it out, man. I was trying to work out why he had so much love for you. Because Prodigy, obviously, Mob Deep, huge in this rap thing, right? Of course. H&IC. Yeah. Like, this guy, this guy's back catalogue and this guy's, like, legacy is huge, fam. Mm-hmm. So, for me, it's like, yo, why does he love Big Twin so much, man? Like, mm-hmm. every album, every track, you, ca- mm-hmm. you guys have got countless features together, man. To I the point say, where you search him and it's like, yo, yeah. I need to take an hour out to listen yeah. to him. I, I say, me? I say... Back in the days when P wanted to shoot a video in the yeah. hood, he always called me, yo, son, I'm about to shoot a video in the hood. I need that love. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? So he come out there, I make sure he good. You know, I just I was always held him down, always is loyal. A lot of people did foul shit. Yeah. I, me, and, me and P never really even got in an argument. You know what I'm saying? Ever. Ever. Wow. Me seems and Abby like, did, like... but not me, you know, because, but, but P's, you know, I ain't grow all the way up with P. You know what I mean? I grew yeah, up I all the way with Havoc. Because he's from there, right? Yeah, from, yeah. from Yay High. So me and P, I met P when I was around 14, 15. You know what I mean? It, it seemed like Prodigy loved you. Like, to brotherly love, man. Like, so I'm like, yo, Twin's my guy. Fam. Yeah. I, I say, you know what I mean? From being with us from the gate and then watching my brother pass, you yo. know what I'm saying? Shit like that. And we just got stronger and stronger. Same thing with Alchemist, you know what I mean? Me and him real, real tight. Like, you know, you know what? what? To, today, for me... Um, like right today I've been at the graveyard today it's my it's my nan lost her, her battle to cancer three years ago mm. today sorry to hear that nah it's cool bro Hold love's up. love man hey, like God bless her man you feel me God bless her like but you I know I didn't I didn't want I didn't know if I wanted to get into it or not but I wanted to ask you about your bro man um, I know it's deep 1996 that's where it all like kind of ended you know what I mean 1996 my brother passed away we was in the car golf mm. was driving golf over from infamous yeah, 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 yeah. We I know you driving talking about. and somebody kind of cut us off okay and the car flipped the road's over. crazy out there for yeah. New York anyone don't know yeah. man people will be on their job yes the car flipped over and you know what I mean two people passed and happened to one of them be my brother oh, and rest in peace to Harry too my man Harry passed away too God bless so, man condolences yeah, yeah. man you know what I mean? Uh, like, fam, like, yo, yeah, I mean, I, I've been, I was looking at um, the Instagram picture you post, and you two is identical, fam. Yes. Like, I couldn't even tell you apart. Nobody couldn't. I'm like, talking about if you standing every, right here, son. If you were standing right here, you couldn't tell us apart. Every feature. Tell me. From the face, fam. And it's it like, crazy. that's your, that's your, your, your identical twin, fam. What effect did that have on your life going forward, man? How did you feel? I know, man, I know, it, it, it I can never. Second, it took a second to really even soak it in, you know mm. what I'm saying? Um, People used to say that when twins pass, the other one died a year later. People was all saying shit yeah, like that. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, yeah, crazy. But did um, it, for, for me, for me, I kind of you know, growing up in Queensbridge, people die all the time. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Even though it's my brother, but you know, you get loved ones and people you know mm. all your life. It's almost like your brother. So it, it, it hurt for a second, but it kind of get past us now. Me, it get past me kind of quick now because you know people pass a lot. In yeah, these it's days, true. You know what it's mean? unfortunate. Yes. But bro, it must have had like, 
What effect did that have on the man then, on the squad? How did how did people? The squad react was a little that? lost. I ain't gonna find yeah. like having P. Everybody was they they was kind of more stuck than I was. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, see, because I can I can for me looking at it from a real brother's perspective, it's like. You know, that's not. I know it's gonna hurt, but we don't know how much because we never been there. Yeah. Us, like in the room, I'm talking about. We we in the room right now. But did it did it make the man them fix up? Did they think, look, you know, we need to be more sober. Did we need to like come together at this hard time? Kind of, kind of, really, really, not really sober because it, it, it wasn't because of that, was it? Right? Nah, maybe because, I'm misunderstanding. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, but nah, nobody wasn't drunk enough. Oh, we were sober. Shit. See, it I was in the daytime, like having a pee come pick us up every morning. Wow. Working on what was the um, the I think it was the the Hell on Earth album. That's Every cool. morning he used to pick us up or the Murder Music album. What's on my show? That's in the nineties, right? Yeah, yeah. It was ninety six, ninety nine, nineteen ninety six, June thirteenth, nineteen ninety six. But having P used to pick us up every morning and take us to the studio. We work on wow. they work on music all the time. Mm. So then one day we was like, let's drop them off and we gonna go get some weed. We ain't had no weed, yeah, 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 some yeah, drinks. Yeah, yeah. So we was going to get it and then bring it back, and, but. You know, the car accident happened. That's what, you know what I'm saying? I want to send my condolences, man, and my love to you, yeah. bro. Because I know that, too, like, too. yo, fam, I don't know how hard it could be to lose a bro like that, man. Swan brother looks just like me. That shit fucked me up, son. Word up, yo. It the really fact that did. he's so alike. You know, in my pain, rhymes fam. tonight, I'm going to be saying his name all day. Huh? Let's pick him up. Let's pop a bottle for him tonight, man. Definitely. Word. Definitely. Like, so we're going to do that. My squad's going to do that for you, too. We're going to pour Definitely. some out in the video. I mean, I mean, the maddest thing is, like, yo, fam, Queensbridge, QB. Dangerous place, but let me yo. But this 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 place, this place produced so many great rappers, fam. Nah, Cormega, Mob Deep, Big Noid, Infamous Mob, all the way back to MC Shan, Capone from CNN, CNN, Tragedy, Tragedy, yo. Um, come on, fam, man. Crime fan bars and hooks. We can go longer. Bars you know and what hooks. Saying? The new dudes too. You know what I'm saying. Ron Artez too, Ron Artez, you know what I'm saying? Bull players. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Ruck. players. Shout out Loke. Shout out Shooter. Roxanne Shantae. You know what I mean? What the fuck is in the water over there, bro, man? Yo. It's a whole bunch now. What are you not drinking, more. man? I don't know, man. It's yeah, like, yeah, word, oh, word. What was in the water, bro? Because QB, motherfuckers was fucking super talented, The best bro. thing about that is all of us stuck. In the game, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like we, we, we put out music and it worked. And it became legendary. Yes, it became legendary. Infamous. So it became infamous. For one hood, I don't think no one project, one neighborhood, no one way. little place that, that got that many people. What was it like growing up there? It was hard, man. Stop mm. it. It was hard, man. Like, like growing up, in, from I'm from 41st side of 12th Street. So, mm. you know, other blocks was born with other blocks. Some people cool, some people not. Um... Vernon Posse. Yeah, um, cookouts, you know what I mean? It was good times, too. It wasn't always bad times. You know, yeah, we got the yeah, Vernon yeah. Posse. I remember they had this song called, I am down with the Vernon Posse. I, hey. I am down. You know what I mean? So Some we didn't like that because we was from 12th Street. Oh, so, so, so the north the north side of Queensbridge and the south side, is that too? Nah, is not that really like that. Not really like that. More blocks. So okay. you got 12th Street, 10th Street, down block, you know what I mean? All mm. that. So Vernon. You know what I'm saying? So bomb. They call it the four, tw it's 12th Street, two 12th Streets. Okay. 41st side and 40th side. Oh, so 12th Street runs through the whole thing. Yeah. And then it's 10th Street, two 10th Streets, 40th, first side and 40th side. I then mean, two Vernons. I mean, I listen to this. When I was in New York, maybe like six years ago, mm -hmm. I decided I was going to take the train to Queensbridge. The best thing ever. Jumped out the, out the train. In the and hood. Yo, I, got, I, walk, I walked in straight into the hood. Me, I was one man up on my own. I, I took about 30 mixtapes with me just because if I get caught slipping, oh, I'm just giving out mixtapes, mix man. Yeah, Fuck yeah, that that's shit. smart, though. You feel me? That's smart. But um, I ended up in some, like, Dominican or Puerto Rican restaurant on the side roads outside of the projects. Mm. Best food I ever ate, bro. Oh, you talking about, like, on 40th Avenue? Yeah, yeah, right there. Yeah, my mom's. Mama's. Yo, fam. Yeah. Yo, listen, my bro. <laughs> you I, with I, the I was mama's? Eating, that's I was crazy. Eating. That's Yo. a joint I showed you. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. eating good, bro. And it's mad because I was there. The food is banging. Fam. The, the planting. Oh, yeah. The plant, you call it the plantain. Plantain. Yo. Banging. Listen, bro. Banging. Facts. And, and and the maddest thing is, like, I'm I'm around there as a fan because I, I'm a big Nas fan, bro. And I'm a big Mob Deep fan. Yeah, Nas is my favorite rapper. He's right. my favorite rapper. Right. You know I mean? Fact, favorite. he's my favorite rapper, man. I mean, look, I want to I wanna share, like, even a little story, man. When I was growing up, because um, of my age group, my, my generation, 50 Cent came out while yeah. I was in high school, right? 
So 50 Cent is gully. You know what I mean? He come out hard body. Oh, bad. But the reason why I loved him so much, and this is a weird story, man. Like, if, if he heard this, he would laugh. The reason I loved him so much is because he was, because Nas and Nature done a song with him. Who you rep with? QB. Yo, yo, I'm telling you, bro. Nas, Nature. Yo, that's fucked, right? When they was together back in the days, it was ill, man. Crazy. I, for me, I, I should have. I, I felt like they should kept doing music mm. with Core Mega and the whole Nature thing. I mean, the whole firm shit. You know what I mean? I why know. did Why did beef him, man? I can't your perspective. Really, I can't even really say. Yeah, I don't even know yeah, why. Don't know. It's like. They both did diss songs against each other, and now they dead at the beef. But there's no doing music, basically. What do you What do you think What do you think it is about Nas that that makes him fall out with people? Is it because, is it is it because the character? This is from my point of view, and I might be wrong, but this is from a fan and a someone that that has been there myself and met people there. Shout out Jungle! Jungle showed me a lot of love there. The second time we went back, we shot a video in the projects. Yeah. But I mean, Nas, he's very intelligent. It seems like he's very um, smart, very intellectual. And he's clashing with Prodigy and Cormega. Is it because they're similar? Nah, nah. I don't know why he crashed. With Prodigy, it go way back, back in the day. I told P, Nas told me, this is a long time ago. Nas mm. basically said, told me in my face, told me basically, yo, son, you should tell Harry to get rid of, um, get rid of, uh, what's, what's his name? Get rid of P. So it's when they, on Juvenile yeah. Hell. Remember Juvenile oh, Hell? Oh, when they first came out. Yeah, when they first came out, because he liked Havoc better than P. So he's like, yo, you yeah. should get rid of P. Tell tw- tell Havoc to get rid of P. I think that's a bad move. So though. then I told I went and stro- told P. You know what oh, I mean? So, oh, shit. <laughs> I, I guess that's kind of how it all started. You know what I mean? To get rid of P would have been a bad move, man. Of course. Even though Havoc got the beats and shit, but H and I C? Classic. Very much so, bro. Classic. Like, that's Part two was a classic too. That might oh. be an understatement, man. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? It might be an understatement, man. I grew up thinking Prodigy was the best in Mob Deep. Later on down the line, I appreciated Havoc more because of the beats and the hooks. Of course. His but new I, album but, is fire. His yeah, new facts. album is fire. But but Prodigy, different level. I mean, mm-hmm. I know some people was unhappy about him with the book. They thought he was just sharing people's stories. But yeah, in, niggas in, was tight. What? Niggas was tight. How'd I was, you feel I about him, man? Now you told me on voice note. You said, "Yo, you gotta check it out." Yeah, he be I was fucking. Mad. He put it out there. Yeah. though. He put it out there. He like, I'm, I'm gonna keep real. He put out stories you shouldn't put out there. Okay, right. That makes you know sense. what I mean. That makes sense. And people took it personal. Some stories he put out there, people shouldn't get personal. Some other stories yeah. he should have never said. It yeah, 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 mad yeah. drama. People could have got killed. But he kind of he passed all that shit up with everybody. I always feel like from from listening he to him. He put out some stories that help situations too. Oh, you know for what real? I'm saying? Yeah. So why don't people mention that? I don't know. That's some ill shit. I don't know. Hey, you got any? Uh-huh. You know any off heart? Ja Rule, when Ja Rule seen him, Ja Rule just said, you just clarify what I was thinking already. What? About the, the text? Whatever's in the book with Ja Rule. I didn't uh, read the book. You didn't like read I the book? <laughs> I didn't read the book, so I know it's something about Ja Rule in there. And then P told me, yo, I bumped into Ja Rule. No and I way. I said, what happened? He was like, let me, let me talk to you, P. And he pulled P to the side and he said, yo, you just clarify what you, what I thought. I feel I feel like so, um I feel like with the Ja Rule thing, P was on fifty side. Not not by by because it was a petty choice, but because that's where he, lo- he lied in terms that's why they, that's why fifty love him, man. Yeah, 50 he wrote, love P man. You know what moment we got down one Love him. We he came, we chat us down. We said, All right, we understand. Mm. When I was there, we riding with him. Yeah. But they kinda did the uh you know, when it you know, when he had the shirts that said game over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? You was wearing them, innit? Nah, I ain't wearing it. You didn't wear it. You know what I mean? Because I felt like we just show up at the video and them shirts are there. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But they're trying to say, like, the game is over. Like, we're taking over the game. Oh. But it can also, it could be both but ways. It's a metaphor for you know what I'm the saying? game is over. So I was like, you know, and that's how basically how game probably got tired about that. You know what I mean? Shit yeah, like fuck that, that man. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> Real I was cool. like, I was like, for me, but you know what I'm saying? I mean, fuck it, it's all good. You, I mean, I mean, the thing when is, when you sign to a person, I mean, you ride all the way with the beef and all that. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it, dude. They don't do that. I left it over there somewhere, man. Sorry, man. But it, it got done. It was all good. I mean, for me, bro, I'm a I'm a big QB fan, man. I, I grew up going to to the record shop to buy to buy like the loud records imports before they came out. Mm. And as soon as I heard your voice, I was like, who the fuck is this? This guy is grimy. It's crazy because when people when I first started rhyming, people say he's not gonna. It don't sound right. His voice is too hard. You know what I'm saying? Is that what they said? Yeah. When I first started doing it from his mom's song, they was like they like everybody except me. 
I mean, the thing is, <laughs> you got like but we good now. You got you got you get that though. Yeah. You always get someone who's opinionated, and you know what that means? It means you're original mm-hmm. because they never heard it before and they're not sure. Mm. Then time will tell. Time's the best teller, man. It's the only commodity that everyone shares is time, man. Yeah, of course. You feel me? Like, time don't stop. That's right. The money can stop. The money come and go. But the time keep ticking. One minute in every country is the same. You feel me? That's right. When you die, the time keep going. I always say that. Yeah, man. I mean, I I I feel like Murder Music, the the movie was great. We go through... Oh, Murder Music? Yeah, the movie. The movie. Crazy. Listen, listen. I'm calling Pete every three days to say, let's shoot another (laughs) movie, son. Someone Let's shoot another drink, movie. Get a drink or something, man. Let's oh, you're shoot another. Because I'm telling juice, you, <laughs> the 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 prodigy, the prodigy, the the way he put that movie together with his own money, we ain't had no funding. It was a great thing, man. We gotta do more projects like that. You know what I mean? Mm. Especially when you got YouTube's and shit like that. We could do anything now. You know what I mean? We don't really but, need a big budget and shit like that. You just gotta grind on the internet. No, 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 I'm cool. I'm a drinker, man. I think the, the internet's a blessing, man. It's like, it's oversaturated, but it's, it, yeah, that's me. Thank you so much, man. We in a hotel room in Shoreditch Gin, man. Yes. Fuck the shit, man. Yes, yes. Big twin, the realest in the Do-do. game. I'm out performing Everyone tonight in London. We're going to get turned up. Oh. So we all here. Because so if the quality's around. not up to point, you have to allow us for this one, man. This is the podcast that means a lot to me, man. Good looking, yo. Real talk, man. I don't give a fuck, man. Like, and I'm the a song real we got is hot too. Yeah, we, oh yeah, we got a song. Shook One's remix. Yeah, yeah. Big Twin, Rock, ASB, man. Mm-hmm. ASB Music, check me out, man. I mean, look, I'm not here to plug myself. No way. I'm here to hear, hear you talk, man. Like, I feel like your voice is like an instrument, bro. You know, Alchemist Serious. was the first person that said that to me. I, I didn't even look at it like that. He's like, yo, come on, son. You got to do it like this because your voice is like an instrument. You know what I mean? Shout bro. out to my man Alchemist. So he yo. said the same talk. Yeah, yeah word. Over. It is, fam. Yeah. Voice is greasy, fam. Mm. Prodigy's voice greasy, but then you two have got joints. You two have got joints together, and it's like, motherfucker sounds greasier. I'm trying yeah. to. Grimey. I'm trying to, trying to take him out, so I'm trying to take him out. <laughs> we got Prodigy, man. Yeah, Shout out to P. The, 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 you see what I'm saying? Like the ta- the, ta- the tattoo on your hand was on the um, special edition cover, right? Mm-hmm. So what did special edition mean to you guys, man? How valuable was how valuable was it to the it collection? Was like, it was like a special edition from Mob Deep. You know what mm. I'm saying? Like extended something new, something special. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, That's how we... Son, Alchemist. Shout out to Alchemist. He produced most of the joints. The joints you know are crazy, I mean? bro. Havoc. I, mean, um, I don't even know. Oh, Axe the Bull. A bunch of people did joints. And it was good, yo. I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to play... Mob, I'm going to play... Let me play this in the background. Oh... Uh, Probably motherfuckers, motherfuckers might not hear it probably in the background. Eh? The quality might be bad. We 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 drunk. Yeah. yeah. Wait. Sid Rome. Shout out to Sid Rome's man. This one called In the Smash. I'm performing that tonight. Big, actually. big twins and prodigy, right? Tonight you will hear that tonight. I don't know if I don't know if you know, but in London there was two rappers called Gigs and Dubs mm-hmm. that done a version of this, and the version was called Pain Is the Essence, right? Mm. Now just the title, Essence. That's some more peep shit, man. Mm. I didn't know this was you lot's beat. I thought it was theirs, right? Oh. So everyone's like, yo, shit lit. And then we find your one. And we're like, yo, it makes sense. Who produced that? Sid Rome's. Grammy Award winning Sid Rome's. You know t- man? Listen. Or. Give him a round, hey, give him a round of applause in the Sid background. Rome, Someone man. clap. Yes. Oh. Grammy Award winning. They did two beats Hella, on the album. Hella crack. Hella crap. So they, they, you know what I mean? Sid Rome's, you know, they blowing up now, you know? But yo, fam, like you lot... When you lot touch the beats, you deliver that left side from that heart, that pain, that struggle. Different worlds. I think you don't understand. After you see tonight, you, then you're going to look at me like. Tonight, you see, we, after we you see tonight, tonight, after you see tonight, <laughs> then you're going to look at me different again. You're going to be like, that's crazy what you just did. <laughs> Can we drink tonight after that? Huh? Oh, yeah, that's why I'm going to yeah? get lit. Oh, shit. I ain't drinking right now because nah. I want to make sure I do it right for y'all. You Let's know do it mean? right, man. I want to do it. it right and make sure they love it. Listen, man. Back every for week. All the, we got a lot of kids locked into our show. A lot yeah. of young bucks, man. No doubt. They love me. So as if you love me, I want you to go search Big Twins. B-I-G... T W I N S on YouTube, on yes. Google, on Apple, on Spotify. Anywhere. Go go listen to Don's music because without people like that, there wouldn't be people like us. You feel me? Like we come from a different cloth where <laughs> oh <laughs> where you want to listen to that shit. You know, you yeah, it's okay to turn up, it's okay to like slow jams, but there's times when you're going through that 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 hard times, the HTs, 
and you just want to listen to some something that's gonna stick. You know what I mean? Forever. Sometimes you to do other kind of music, or, you know, the different type of music. This is what it, when, you, when I do my music, it sticks. Facts. You remember it. It just you always want to play it again. You Facts. know what I'm saying? Just real shit. That's all. You if know you want to learn something, you gotta check that out, man. Real it's talk, real man. life. Like when I do my music, it's almost like talking to you. When you that's when you, you that's what is that? Yeah. Big up the man you know inside. When when you done different worlds with, with Alchemist, so creative. Yeah. Back to back, yeah. before people was really doing that. That's 2004, but you probably recorded okay. Okay, it. Okay, listen. That, let, right? me, let me tell you. Let me bust your brain with that. Kill me, man. You ready? <laughs> Alchemist wrote the whole song. You're kidding me. Oh, look. Alchemist wrote Yo. the whole song. Wow. How is that even wow. possible, right? Nah, you can't. You can't tell that, man. You can't. You can't. Nah, from if you, you, I don't, you I, should. I'm gonna listen again, but the I words, don't know, man. the words he used, yeah. I wouldn't use. Yeah. You know like, what I'm saying? Proper English, you mean? Like, nah, that, nah, not even that. There's certain words that he used, I wouldn't use. You wouldn't use. You know it. what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, he did the he did the uh, the, the original one. You know, it's two of them. Mm. He did the original one, and he wrote the remix. Wow. The one that's on his album. The one that's on his album. It's the second one. I bought the album. The on, I bought the album on vinyl, bro. Mm. And then I loved it so much. I bought the CD. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Alchemist again. Hey, I'll he, see. he called me early in the morning. Yo, son. Yo, don't Shan. get mad. I wrote this shit for you. I said, all right, let me hear it. Let me hear it. Fine. Right. I said, I'm on my way over there. But you know there. what? Credit to you as a rapper and an artist for like listening yeah, to someone else's hot. opinion. It's dope. Yeah, hot as hot. Do it. You know what I mean? Because, years, bro, the thing is, the truth is this: if he raps it, it's not your voice anyway. It's your voice that and your delivery and his delivery together of as a team. Course. Teamwork make the dream work, and that's that's like a and real the story good example. Was of it. dope about his life, you know, two yeah, different stories. Two different yeah, you For know me, when I, mean? I heard that, I was like, wow. And the beat. I I done a freestyle on it once, right? Never written no lyrics, mm. and it came out so easy. Credit that's that's credit to the production quality, yeah. man. Yes, I was about to say word. You, or shout out to all the niggas that make the dope beats and make <laughs> me easier to rap. You know word. what I'm mean? saying? Big up K's beats in the building. Yes. yes. He engineeringtoday, yeah. lastminute.com. Yeah. Big up yeah. D Man inside. Yeah. 808 Mafia. 808 Mafia. Big up Smile Suave inside. London Kush Club. You get me? London Kush Club. Shout out Just Jeans Kitchen. Yes. Shout out Nari. I mean, we 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 in here today with with someone that I consider a, a hardcore rapper, someone that I consider a hip hop legend. I I wanted to do this podcast no matter what. We're going to the club with these microphones, man, because we we wanted to carry the equipment to the room. We've never done it on our own before. Mm-hmm. We wanted to do it so much because I feel like Europe, UK. If you don't know about Big Twins, you need to know this dude showed a lot of love to me. He didn't have to. We got the track together. We FaceTime, yeah. we talk, we stay in touch, we network. Yeah. And it's a real yeah. brother. Shout out to Ruck, too. Shout out Shout to Ruck. Shout out my man, Ruck. That's kind of, you know what I mean? I was like, oh, you fuck with Ruck. I am yeah, fucking, you know it's I mean? like a cosign. Yeah, exactly. Ruck, exactly. my man. Me and Ruck was in Noriega's birthday bash out there last year, popping balls, oh, man. Or? And And we was there for a little piece. We got wavy, then we dipped. Mm. But getting in that joint was hard work, man. We had to bully the bouncer, fam. The doorman, he got to get a little, yo, yeah. fam. I don't like, you know. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It was in Queens. It was in Queens. Um, Near the strip club. That's why I said What's New that strip York, club New York is burnt out. Um, what's in the Queens. Scarlet. That's the one. Right next door. <laughs> look, look, Yo, look. ah! Scarlet. Right next door, there's a yeah. little club. They just performed in there wilding out. Yeah. Ron Artes and I'm bugging the front. Ron Artes, the Warrior. Yes, they were the there brand. wilding. Q, the QB album, man. What did you think of that? What, the QB's nah fine, shit? yeah. That shit was a classic. Were you, were you on it? Yes. What tracks? Um, Die For. Yeah, and from his mom, oh, yeah. die for, die for. How did it, how did it feel the the energy of making the album as the bridge? See, see, everybody was there. They did, they all did the album together. Mm. Our song wasn't like that. Oh, you sent them the track. Nas didn't call us. Oh shit! <laughs> it just ended up on it. Nah, Nas didn't call us. You bully it. He you, called you us at it? the last minute. I think he did it on purpose. Did you bully your way? Yeah. I think he yeah, did it on yeah, purpose. Yeah, yeah. He facts, always, facts. He, he's shout Nas, out, uh, shout out Jungle. Nas is, is Nas is like you know he, they, they not, you know Jungle they funny dudes they like to rank and they tell jokes all the time yeah, so yeah, I yeah. think he was doing that to fuck with us you yeah, know what I'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. we like oh everybody doing a song he ain't gonna get a song so he, he, hit, us, he hit us up and say 
Come on, man, send a fucking song. <laughs> so we said the song, we got it done, you know what I mean? Did you hit him up first, though, and say, yo, why are you Nah, nah, it? we didn't say nothing. Oh, so you played, we you played actually, games? We was, work, we was working on the album, too, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, I was like, I don't know, maybe he don't want us on it. He got nah, Mark he G, he there, got man. everybody on there. He want you on there, man, yeah. facts, facts. Yeah, so, but he got us on there. Shout out to Nas, Special man. Special edition, up. classic album. Good looking, man. You know, even, even though the word classic's heavy, I think that it can be a classic to an individual. yeah. It came out on vinyl right at them times. Yes, that yeah, that, everything was on vinyl. I had back it, in those days. I bought that man. I purchased that with That's my money, so. man. And I and, and I loved the production, the delivery, the hooks. You know, there was a, a, a skit on it where P was talking about explaining the infamous mob. Hmm. That's a classic skit, fam. You remember that That's shit, when right? He was sitting in the van. It's, it's footage of that, I think. Oh, too. what? Yeah, it's footage of that. But we just, used it. The, we just used it. You know what I'm saying? That P saying, "Yo, we mob deep, but we the infamous mob. Mm -hmm. We roll with." That's when he was sitting in the Jeep. Yep. Yeah, what is going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, you know, he that broke it lit. down. That shit See, lit. he broke it down. He, he co-signed it. It was over after that. You know what I mean? Prodigy, Prodigy I think um, it's a funny one. I think that Prodigy is one of the hardest rappers in the game. You know, he's delivered classics. He's a, he, was on, he was on the top mm -hmm. at that point. And I feel like um, Cormega had a time like that. Nas had a time like that. And, they, you know, egos clash, brothers clash. Yeah. Brothers fight, man. But yeah, I feel like... Up. It is <laughs> fucked up. And I feel like them three characters... They delivered something to the game that the game never had, and then when so it, and but the reason the reason sorry to cut you because I want yeah. you to talk more than me. But the reason I say that is because when when there's trees growing, they all their own tree. Mm -hmm. So it's like yo, I'm 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 in here, I'm in here too. About, I was just about to say that yeah. because it's different styles, different. You know what I mean? But but all of them hold weight. Wait, yeah, I see. But then you came for me. You came from underneath the mob the mob thing, mm -hmm. but stood out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yo, this motherfucker's ill. I just had to keep going and keep Real pushing. Talk. I Real took the time off. Like I said, I did uh, a video for somebody today. I yeah, did a song yeah, yeah, and I'm about to do a show. Legend. You know I mean? So I'm working hard. I mean, look, we could go on forever talking about um, talking about the hood, talking about the come up. But I want to big up Big Twins. He's in London. London love him, man. I want to let, let the people know. If you don't know about him, you do your research. If you do know about yes. him, you know how valuable this is. Look me up, Look man. Big up, Twins, man. Big Twins. Hit him up on the Instagram. He's he's live on there, man. Hit yes. him up everywhere. You got to pop in, man. Um, go check him out on YouTube. SoundCloud. SoundCloud. SoundCloud fucking Anywhere you can, Tumblr, fam. Apple Music, whatever. Spotify, Spotify streaming shit, buy shit. Snapchat. I never put none on there, but add me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Word. But, I mean, look, we, we in here today lastminute.com because we just wanted to do it so much as fans man so we thank you for, for playing out, our good man. music good bro, looking forever. out yo. good now, looking we thank out you for that genius. and it's my first podcast ever. so do uh, and, and wait before we wrap it I heard that Alchemist came through you guys right yes wait let's get this before we go this is important what? Alchemist become one of the biggest sample producers one of the biggest beat makers but was it you guys that bring him to Mob Deep yes um we first yeah. did a song. I'm going to tell you a story. All right, so I'm in the studio. We, um, Muggs from Cypress Hills. Yeah. He called us, yo. LA, right? Yeah. Mm. He called us, yo, I'm going to bring some beats over to play for y'all. And you know what I'm saying? Some of the beats. Some of the beats was Alchemist beats. You know what I'm saying? And mm. he was like, yo, come to the studio and lay this song. We picked a beat. We went to the studio. Mm. We laid the song down. That was the song Thug Music, too. Oh, shit. Yeah, so we laid the song down. That wow. was for Muggs' album. Yeah, 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 I remember. So, and then... When we in the studio laying the song down, Muggs left. So okay. we're like, fuck, man, how we supposed to engineer and fix this shit? Oh, and then shit. next you know, he turned around, it was a little white kid in the corner. He was like, I'll do it. I made the beat. I'll do it. Yeah. And wow. then he was like, what's your name, yo? He like, Alchemist. We like, all right, come on, son. Yo, son. And that was it. But he had some fire weed. Yeah, he smoked up. Look, look. Yeah, yeah, So yeah, he yeah. had some... <laughs> look, look. Yeah, Pick him up, man. Give him a shout look, out. Look, look. Alchemist, you know what? I was with the brother about a month ago in London. He came through with Fire. Bronson. Fuck, that's delicious. Big up my man there as well. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. To tell you the truth... The guy's a heavy smoker, you yeah, know, champ. Yeah, big yeah, boy. Big, big boy. boy. Fifth, uh, you know what? We're the London Kush Club, extracted by Smokey, yeah, Lady sure. Sativa Genetics, yeah. European yeah. Seed Bank, you know, we've won multiple yeah. cannabis cups and other awards. And um, wow. yeah, smoking with the likes of Action Bronson and um, the Alchemist, 15 grams, London City Diesel joints getting sure. chuffed down within 15 go. minutes. <laughs> multiple dabs. Lit. I mean, yeah. The yeah. lit factor. Dab, got a masala spices out on the table. I'm I talking, know. yeah, I'm talking about, listen, no tobacco in sight. Yeah. None of that. It was all hardcore shatters and, you know, extracted by smoking was in right? the building, so it was a serious thing. Yeah, but facts. we're here once again with the twin Gambino, the infamous yeah, yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Legendary oh. from the Queensbridge yes. block, six blocks, yes. 96 buildings. Do -do. You know what I mean? Do -do. Oh. 
So look, look. So That's so so they look, 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 I ain't even finished the story. No, so check it out. I ain't even finished the story. Check it out. So Handy. I told you we was in the fucking crib, I mean in the studio, and the guy said I'm, I'm alchemist. And then he had the weed, good with weed. Mm. I called then two days later, I called him, yo, bring some of that weed, come to the studio. Oh, you shit. can play him all deep some beats. So he came oh. over. He came over that day. Yeah, yeah. And we, we sat up. there for fucking eight hours. He sat right there in the corner, lit up his whole bunch of weed, and we all chilled. And then at the end, have it, have it like, I right, play some beats. Let me hear what you're working with. Because I kept telling him, he got some beats, son. He got some yeah, beats. Yeah, you pre- pre- pressing you know it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then at the end, of, uh, then the, the first beat he played was, doom, 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 doom. Doom, doom, TikTok. doom, doom, no. nah. Oh, Coogee the Rap. The one on the Mall Deep album with Coogee Rap. Uh, uh, uh. You know what's what I'm saying? Is, um, I forgot the, uh, uh, I forgot how to go. What's the name of the joint? Uh, uh, um, doom, 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 doom. Oh, it's a classic, bro. Doom, 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 doom. Street life niggas living lives on the line. With uh, uh, young niggas selling. Remember Coogee Rap and Peter the yeah, hook back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was the first beat he played them. Mm. And that's history right Ouch. there. He was in the studio every day after that with us. You know of course, what I'm of course. So, Classic, man. But I wanted the world to know that because a lot of people, they know Alchemist through like a couple mob joints, then maybe his own album. Hot, you know, hold you down. All of it. Time to roll. Yeah, yeah we got to But, we but bro, listen, we, we're going to wrap it up and they got to understand that it, it is what it yeah, is. Yeah, we got to go do a show. You know what I'm saying? It but is what it is. Shout out to everybody in, in the UK, period. London, he loves man. you, man. Love him back, man. P- period, son. London. Yo, the all man, my listen, G's. Son, the man them love him, man. The man them love him. I'm going to be back, for man. life. We go sign him because he, he's real, fam, yeah? So you go check his music out. Do-do. Go go Google him. Do TNT is on. out right now. Go purchase that. TNT is out right thank, now. Thank, thank you for being on Real Talk True Stories, bro. Good looking, my G. Thank you for everything, Word man. Up, yo. Welcome to London, B. Do-do. Salute.